So they're camped right across the Yardin. Hashem tells Moshe, make sure when you go into, into Eretz Yisrael, you're going to wipe out all the Vedizars and all the nations. Either you abolish them or they, they run away. The Rambam doesn't count as one of the mitzvahs, but the Ramban, Alatayra, and in the Minyan Mitzvah, he counts this as a mitzvah to say, Mitzvah of Yeshiva Eretz Yisrael. We shouldn't fight whether it's Noyeg nowadays, but he holds that every second that a person's in Eretz Yisrael, he's Mekayim a mitzvah. And he holds, take let's say 1947 when they were talking about establishing a state. So the the Fry, they wanted any piece of land to call a Jewish state. In Uganda, they were offered a piece of land. According to the Ramban, he says explicitly they would have been over on the mitzvah to say because it has to be zois ha'aretz, asher tibol chamanachol. This land that Hashem is going to describe now in the nevuah of what the gvulos are. And then there's a very prophetic uh, thing. It says if you don't get rid of all the inhabitants. They're going to be a thorn in the eyes and the side of if they don't get rid of it. And you see what happens if you don't listen. So Hashem tells Moshe, This is the land. The measure says of your amazing thing. It says, Yeshua, who conquered Eretz Yisrael, and he went from the length and the width by foot. He didn't see Eretz Yisrael as well as Moshe saw it by never going in from Nevoah. So you see the, the, the view that Tzadikim had. And now, I'm sorry, I cannot help you with the, the, you need a map to learn this, but you see what it means that Moshe saw it, that it's so intricate, the detail. There's a stream over here, it goes downhill here, it turns past this little hill over there. And and it uses some very interesting Lashonis when it describes marking the boundaries. It uses a Lashon of Tesau, Tesau, Vihisa Visem. All this Lashon is a Lashon of Taiva. So I was looking to understand why is it used marking boundaries of Eretz Yisrael, a Lashon of Taiva. So I saw in Lakutim Aran, he says that if someone has a problem with Kas, with anger, it's a big Segul that he should have, and they should have yearning for Eretz Yisrael. And Sadiqim should yearn for Eretz Yisrael. Yearning for Eretz Yisrael is a Segul of a Kas. So there's an Indian of having Taiva for Eretz Yisrael. So Kobe, that's why he uses the Lashon of, of Taiva for Eretz Yisrael. He says that's why in Parshas Kisisa, Hashem showed Moshe, Yegim Amidus HaRachman, it says, Vayimar Moshe Vayikait Ortsa Vayishtachu. He bowed down. He quickly bowed down. Vayikait Ortsa, he explains, Yikait means like a fire, Yikait Esh. Vayikait Ortsa, Moshe was a fire for Eretz Yisrael. So Gemara asks, in Sanhedrin, Kofi Yeral, Myra, what did Moshe Rabbeinu see that made him bow down? Erech HaPayim, right? You saw the meat of Erech HaPayim. Erech HaPayim means slow to anger. So you see that if someone burns Eretz Yisrael, he gets saved from Kas. And after you finish the Gulas of Eretz Yisrael, that'll take you up till Shishi.